Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. What was that? Just the rhythm I was snapping. Okay. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions unit. It's up, Corbin. Snapping turtles. And he calls them Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, or juicy it's content. It's so juicy. He's juicy. throwing it at you. Uh, Watch uh, out. Whoa. Get a little elbow in there. Wow. Is that what you're doing? Uh. Uh, today we're we'll wrapped to a video. This is, uh, I think this is a, a comedian of some, I mean a YouTuber of some sort, has 1.6 million subscribers, but this is a video of his. It's called Living on One Dollar Indian Street Food for 24 Hours. It's easy. In fact, very easy. One dollar? Yeah. Yeah, it's 75 rupees. Has it gone up? I don't know if it's gone up, but except between 70 and 80. Yeah. Street food? Yeah. <laughs> easy. Easy. Yeah. But, um... We did not get a, 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 enough time to try all the street food that we wanted to. We tried some, uh, Rajasthan especially. We, we, we yeah, we really, there. we wanted to, Corbin was sincere about doing that $100 oh, uh, I wanted street so challenge bad. in I Mumbai. Wanted, I wanted to buy so many people food. So next time. Because like here, me and my wife and my child, if we could go out to eat, uh, well, I guess we can now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we can uh, now. Uh, but if we if, if, if we couldn't for a while, but if we go out to eat, it's almost a hundred dollars depending on the restaurant. For three, yeah, yeah. almost a hundred dollars. I mean, it could be easily be well over depending on the restaurant. Yeah, it could be, but on average, it would be between fifty and yeah. seventy-five, mm -hmm. easy. Yeah. So spending a hundred dollars is not that crazy here in Los Angeles. Well, it is. It is there when you consider the yeah. fact that you can get, you know, you can get some especially on street food. Yeah, you can get some chai and some pani puri for. 20 rupees yeah <laughs> so <laughs> but anyway so yeah this is this video and i'm, I'm hoping we'll just see some delicious cause yeah exactly street food this is what i wanted to do um, every video we've seen this is pretty astonishing because we've seen quite a few food videos mm. there is always something new that we're like whoa what's that always yep let's see How's it taste for you? I have no words to explain it because your eyes could do it justice. You just have this massive eye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the zoom in. We've been there. Mumbai, not that bad. That actually looks familiar. Hello, where we are. Welcome back to Mumbai, India. You know, over the course of the last week or so, I've been exploring different cities and towns across India. And each town and city that I've been in, I pretty much had a friend or YouTuber show me around. And this has basically been my almost like jumpstart into the Indian culture. They've shown me their favorite places, their favorite food, basically how they spend their daily lives. However, as you can see around me, I have no local or person showing me the best places today. And seeing that I've oh, only been in Mumbai for not a good day, idea. I don't know this city at all. So how I'm going to start off this adventure today is first by going to a place that I've walked by a few times and just walking the streets of Mumbai. And then after that, just relying on the locals to guide me through the best street food here. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, yeah, Mother Papaji. Did you say Papaji? I think I've made that. Or, or wanted to, I don't remember. Is that butter? <laughs> Yeah, I think it is. Yeah! Oh, it's bottom up. Woo! That's exactly what it is. Oh, 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 oh. Heavenly. Oh, no, that's Bob Faji. I have made that. This is not bottom up. That's Bob Faji. Do you have one side the food being made, the other side a massive line, and of course the other side people watching me vlog there. <laughs> But anyway, the food that I went with was the famous pav bhaji. This is basically a gravy substance it's made from potatoes, tomatoes, spices, and of course, just oh, top with a massive yeah, you love amount it. of butter. And on the side Woo! here, we have a butterized cow. So anyway, you can say that this is quite a heavy meal. You think I'll like it? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I like it in Oh my lord, that's amazing guys. When you bite into that, the first thing that hits the back of your mouth is the tomato. But then after that, it's just the thickness and richness of that uh, butter. Like the only way I can describe this is it's the absolute heaviest dish that you've ever eaten with a tomato and potato. Holy crap, this is, what a way to start. Oh my god. Yeah, fuck my is delicious. What's the best street food for you guys? It has to be under 70 rupees. 
it is freaking hot out here, man. They gave me these towels for my hands. I'm using it for my sweat. So the first people that I asked, I was a tiny bit disappointed in their response. Below 70 rupees. Below 70 rupees. Yes. Yeah, that's not the Taj. This, this is the challenge. Yeah. So they were sitting in front of the Taj? Yeah. Random people and see if they it's have white. a Taj. It's white. It's a Taj. It's a pop budgie. Okay. Um, and I'm on a challenge today where I eat street food for 70 rupee or lower. The best street food. Let's go for a while. Ah, uh, what about? I'll find some places here for you. Okay. Yeah. I typically, I don't know any name of you. Okay. You can just. Go down and find something. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, have a good Best day. Best of luck. Right. Okay, so although I have heard of a waterbow before, I don't exactly know what it is. So I'm just gonna wander around a little bit and see what we can find. Oh my goodness, there's a waterbow. One waterbow. There you go. Thank you. Twenty rupee. Okay. Okay. So we officially found our mother pop. We didn't have. The well, we did. Of the we did. But we didn't have a street food one. Right. right. They, they bought it. I'm not exactly Sorry. sure what is in this 100 <laughs> percent because I. It's I potato. Eat, but I'm just gonna bite in, see how it tastes, and, and then see the things inside. It's very filling. Delicious. That is absolutely wonderful. You know, before biting in, I thought it was gonna be quite crunchy, but it turned out that with the potato, it just like all mushed together, making for a complete bite of that pow, but also the sauce and the potato. Yum yum yum! This thing is That's absolutely so special. I've never had a sandwich that literally just like compresses <laughs> down all together. It would be one of the first. So like, we go back so to Mumbai. One of the first things I want is that. Yeah. Um, if you had to eat one street food, where would you eat in India? <laughs> Do you understand? What do you want? Um, I'm looking for the best street food. Best? Street food. Huh? How will it come? How will it? How will it? Where you been? Before this, where you been? Just over there. There? Yeah, and here. That's okay, it. This is the two things you have. Two things I had, yeah. So I'll tell you one thing. You go from straight from here. Okay. There is a way in mm -hmm. the Maidan. Okay. But I don't know. A way in the middle, yeah. 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 From there, you take a right. Okay. There will be a cloth store, this lamp, fashion street. Okay. All cloth store is there. Okay. Behind that, there is a cow belly, lots of variety. Street ah, food. Okay. Ah, you're going there? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay, okay. okay, okay. okay wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you go. Okay, cool. I follow you. <laughs> so, I knew so Captain America, America would help. Bob has turned into Thanks, Cap. <laughs> these guys to the best next place. What are your names? My name is Steve, Steve Rogers. And your name? Susan. Susan. <laughs> Straight up rocking your ceiling. Oh, 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 there's oh, something on my sub. Your so sub good, booming. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's like cricket. Okay. A little bit. Uh, sure looks like it. Oh my gosh, so nice. They weren't even going here and they just brought me here. And holy crap, when you look around, this oh, market glorious. is like four times as big as the one I was just at. Now, I don't know any of these places here, <laughs> obviously, but kind of my strategy when I don't know a street food or I don't know a place is just to go to the place that has the biggest line. It means at least a bad strategy. It's a good strategy. Place. Okay, I think I found my place. This place looks like it's absolutely popping here. What's the best thing to get here? I think it's really Puri Bari. Puri Bari. Can I? Yes, yes, please. Yes, so nice. I don't know what I'm going to get, but I know that it's a very high For me? I don't think so. Ah. It's same syllables, but I don't think that's what it was. 35. Holy crap, this is a massive play for 35. Oh, okay. We have tomato and potato, potato, chole, and of course the famous. Now, I was not expecting to have this big of a plate of food for 35 So let's get done. It's like 30 cents. Combined with the Indian heat, makes for just sinuses like 
everything coming out of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Santo? Santo, Javi. Yeah. Good to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from the United States. I'm happy that you came up to me, actually, because I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah. Ask so, okay. I'm on a journey today yeah. where I'm eating street food. Yeah. For a 70 rupee or lower? There's a small uh, juice in. Okay. Small juice in. You get very That's Indian, man. They just love. That's awesome. Okay. They're very helpful people. The yeah. mango juice over there. The mango juice. Yeah. Nobody in America is going to stop you and help you. Thank you so you. much, man. Yeah. You are guest to, yeah. guest to India. They would point and show you yeah, when you're not going to walk you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like guests are brought to us. Wait, this is the place? A cop in Manhattan place. Oh, this is such a tiny place. A cop in Manhattan place. Wow. We'll get you like kiwi, yeah. uh, banana, chiku. Okay. Chiku is like an Indian fruit. Okay. You should definitely try it. Alright, yeah. yeah. You tell me what to get there. Here it is, guys. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. The lassi? So fresh. It's like, like mango you lassi. This, you taste just like a layer of this mango and the milk just like surrounding your mouth and tongue. And how much does this cost here? 25 Just 25 rupees. Wow. Man, if I lived in India, I would be coming here every single day. <laughs> and my sweat with each sip is just going away, going away, going away. Best of luck. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing see me around. Yeah, so it was awesome. Yeah, see you in the Great talk, guys. Bye, All right, bye, see you guys. Bye. Oh, They're stupid man. Oh, man. I know. Just got done exploring with Santo and his friend. And man, I am freaking tired, man. I'm going to take a little bit of break and whoop, whoop. Oh, got to get through these cars. I'm going to take a little bit of break and then get right back at it. Okay guys, it has been about two hours or so, but anyway, in that break I met up with my friend Vanisha and you're going to show Stupid me baby. around to yeah. some places, right? <laughs> I'm going to some of the best places and maybe not some of the, like one of the best Yeah, yeah. food out there. Okay, you want, let's do it again. Two, okay. So. <laughs> Wait, what? Manisha is a little bit nervous to be I'm actually going to take him to one of the most famous places in Bombay. Yeah. And one of we are going to have one of the special dish, which is called as the ice cream sandwich. So what do you think we should get? Ice cream sandwich? Going with pan? Do you get the most Indian? I've never heard of pan anywhere else. I don't like pan. You don't like pan? No. Okay. Ooh, ooh, this is your pan, which I don't want to have. Yes. Ice cream pond? This is not a I am ice cream sandwich pond. pond. Even though she's from the pond capital of the world, the pond capital. The pond, the pond, pond capital. I, I'm ice cream like pond? A, like, kind of like accent. <laughs> capital. I know. That is what India does to you. He's, he's got our issue. You hear something what enough, you start you doing it, and people think you're blocking it. I know, because uh, this is the uh, pizza. I know there's different types of pond. I didn't know there was ice cream pond. Me too. And as you said before, I went with the pond, which is a famous leaf of India. A lot of times people eat the pond leaf with it either being sweet or putting tobacco in. However, this one is obviously sweet, and so... It's good for your digestion. Yeah, which is good for today's exactly. video. Cheers, not putting pond on yours. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so he only has the pond. It's such only a cool him. feeling. Do you have the refreshing pond? That makes that air conditioning this, but I don't know how the ice cream one tastes. Not served with ice I'm cream, very so intrigued. With it, it's I wonder if it's florally. How does it taste for you? It is incredible. I have no words to explain it because your probably. eyes should do it justice. You just have this massive eye flicker, and it's like, oh. But we have to start eating because just take a look at how much it's driven. It's hot in India, man. Anyway, guys, today was filled with just experiencing That's the true. Indian culture as a whole. Not only eating the food, but meeting locals, seeing their places, and actually meeting a lot of new people. Actually, Venetia here, we're, we we're met not, more. Now we're friends, but. <laughs> But we met last night yeah, in the Starbucks when I was editing, and she was actually editing. Hello. But anyway, Venetia also has a channel. What's your channel name? My channel is Verily Vagabonding. Honestly, guys, go check out her channel. Awesome. She's freaking awesome. She stayed with local families all around India, and she's made a bunch of travel vlogs on places that are unexplored places in India. So go check her out. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm so grateful for today. Thank you for showing me this place. Yeah. And just thank you to everybody else that showed me around today. You're awesome. I love India. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Oh. <laughs>
That was good. That was really good. I enjoyed that video. And again, something, like I said at the outset, didn't know there was such a thing as an ice cream sandwich pond. Yeah, so I'm guessing it's just uh, pond flavored, but what style of pond? Is it the florally, which I believe is the regular pond, ice cream? Well, you've got the- That would be gross. You've got the leaf, yeah. and then you have the filling, and it's the filling that's way more saturate, saturated with the, that perfumey stuff. So if it's just the leaf, I can imagine that working in an ice cream sandwich. No. Yeah. It reminds me of Good Mythical Morning. as a can you ice cream sandwich that? Gross. Yeah. yeah I don't, if you I don't know Good Mythical Morning, do yourself a favor. Yeah, they're good. They're yeah, good. they're so they're good. Actually, one of the oldest YouTube channels. They've yeah. been around a long time. Long time. Um, yeah, that was really cool. I would love to, obviously, we, we were in India for almost two weeks, but obviously we didn't stay in one place. Right. So there was so much to do. Yeah. Uh, and so we basically missed an entire day of our trip, sadly, uh, in Rajasthan, which would have been great to have. Yeah. Because there's so much more we would have liked to have done in Rajasthan. Yeah. But, um, I remember just before the OSR trip, talking to somebody who was, loves India and has traveled and asked how long we were going to be there. And I said, we were going to be there about 10 weeks to, to 10 days to two weeks. And she was disappointed. She was like, oh too bad you really need it like you need a month yeah you need a long and we're time. like yeah we, we know yeah and, and that's just for one region yeah you need a month to to cover where we covered yeah and that was just the northwest and the west yeah we covered a lot in a short amount of yeah time. we did yeah we did <laughs> the longest we were uh, place we were the longest was mumbai, mumbai but we had so much to do and we were already exhausted <laughs> By the time yeah. Mumbai came around, I felt so bad for the Mumbai babies because... I know, bless their hearts. In fact, one of the nights we were there, mm -hmm. they had something planned for us to do, and we were just plowed. Yeah. And they graciously, you know, whatever their plan was, I don't even want to know what it was because I'll probably feel really bad. We, you know, they yeah. were so gracious to we, us. I miss, I miss you guys so much. Yeah. Man, I can't Thanks. wait to be back. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Um, I The Pab Baji. Mm. is delicious one of my favorite things we've made you love it it just it it's very very buttery there's so much butter in it and did you butter it up like he did oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh it's yeah you'd absolutely love it it's it's and you can make it it's it was one of the lesser expensive things because i know some of the things that are made they're with the spices when you if you don't have those spices on hand if you need the spices yeah it gets them. a <laughs> I bet no, you've got, you got quite a collection. The entire, I have an entire um, cabinet that is full to the brim with Indian spices. I have every single Indian spice known to man. So after you have them all, it's and not bad. It's, not, it's easier. Yeah, it's yeah. much easier uh, to, you basically, if there's a protein, you need to buy the protein. Right. Other than that, I have almost, I have what, so much rice. So <laughs> what is the most expensive of the things you've had to purchase? Saffron. Saffron. Yeah, I was gonna say it is, huh? Because you get it's like fifteen bucks, and it's like right. that big, little tiny thing of saffron. And I'm sure it's like pennies in India. Yeah, because that's where it's from. <laughs> and there's there's um, quality of saffron too that you can get more expensive yeah. quality, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you put that in like rice dishes, like uh, when you make biryani. Yeah, which of... is which is one of the things here for our palates in the United States no one uses saffron. So when you taste something Indian with saffron in it, it is uniquely Indian. It's so to our palate. If you ever want to make money, just sell, sell saffron, saffron in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> it's so expensive. Anyways, let us know what other food videos we react to down below.